It's the day after for residents of the ancient town of Otopo after Friday's bank robbery. A joint effort of security forces comprising the police, army and the Department of State Services foiled the attack. Some fatalities were recorded while four suspects were arrested. When the deputy governor arrived on the scene, he received some briefings from officers. Well, they told me that they are around Zenith, Zenith Bank. So those ones coming there, then me from here, we use motorcycles to go and see how we can do it and block them there. Block them there. At the Ochi Domas Palace, the police gave more information on the operation. I'm a little bit fulfilled that at least the police were able to kill at least two of them and some arrests made. At least from there, let's start something and see how we can move further. And I'm begging every one of you that is here, by the time you get home, kindly escalate this information we've given to you. Talk to your brothers, talk to your distant relations, let them please look out for information for us. The deputy governor later visits the survivors and speaks of plans to address insecurity in the state. We are going to sit down as a community to work together with government so that together we can design a new security architecture to respond to this level of criminality. We are not going to allow this to be swept under the carpet. Those who have perpetrated this heinous act will be brought to account. The items recovered from the suspects include vehicles and identity cards. The police is hoping to use these items for further investigation.